Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome. I'm Tiffany. This is Our Small Town Life. If you're just finding me for the first time, it's a good video to find me on because today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what to expect from my channel and from me here in the coming future. And if you're coming back to watch another video, thank you. Thank you for joining me. So I'm filming this and uploading it on Friday, and typically I do back porch chats on Friday. We're bringing this one inside though because I need to get some stuff going in the crock pot for dinner. I'm trying something new. It's sweet potatoes. It's not really sweet potato casserole, not really roasted sweet potatoes. It's kind of its own thing. Doing sweet potatoes in the crock pot and you put uh, maple syrup and brown sugar and some spices and things on them. Put marshmallows on it at the end. And so I thought I would share that with you and I needed to get to working on it. So I thought we'll just, we'll do a kitchen chat <laughs> today. And I, I had another video come out today, actually this morning. I'm gonna start working on cutting up these sweet potatoes while I'm talking to you. I've already got them peeled and I'm gonna start cutting them up. It's called for four large sweet potatoes or about two pounds, I think is what it says. So I'm gonna keep cutting these up while I'm talking to you. I actually had another video come out today. There was one this morning. I typically upload Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yesterday, every time I tried to do the voiceover for the video, it just wasn't working out. And I didn't want to rush the video. Didn't want to sacrifice a good quality video where I could really share my heart with you just for the sake of saying that I got a video out. So I waited and I worked on that and that went up this morning. And sometimes when I post a video that's not at my regular time, YouTube doesn't push those videos very well. So if you've not seen that video, I'll make sure to link it and I would appreciate it if you would watch it. To kind of let YouTube know that you want to see my videos regardless of what time they're posted. But that video went out this morning. It was a homemaker day in the life. And I still wanted to sit down and do this video with you today, too. Y'all, I've been, and I'm cutting these just in little squares. I've been thinking lately about what homemaking has looked like for me over the years. And how different it's looked for me over the years. And I think I've been thinking about that more lately because I have been doing more videos Homemaker Day in the Life, Homemaker Encouragement, um, sharing with you about biblical homemaking, what that means to me and my convictions on it. Been sharing more about that lately. And so naturally, I've just been thinking about what that has looked like for me over the years. And I get comments quite often, and most of them are well meaning. There's some that are not every once in a while, but y'all are seriously the best y'all are always uh so kind to me the ones that are around here on a regular basis and very respectful but even then i've gotten some comments where i think it's just people just you know, being respectful but bringing up different things like the fact that i don't have to work outside of the home and i can do these homemaker things or they'll say you know kind of I guess hinting around to that I don't know what it's like maybe to have to work outside of the home and wish that you could be at home. I've had people say things about um, how I have a godly husband who supports what I do and that makes a big difference and it does. But y'all, well, one, yes, I have a wonderful husband. I did. Justin is a wonderful, wonderful husband, and he works very hard to take care of our family. Um, but he's not perfect. I'm not perfect. And I have been through many different seasons of life as a homemaker. What is that? Sweet potatoes. Easton came in to get him a cheese stick. These are some of the sweet potatoes that Ms. Trish gave to us. These sweet potatoes came from a local farmer and a sweet lady at our church gifted them to us. I certainly appreciate them. 
So I was saying, Justin is a great husband. He does a great job providing for our family. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. And yes, I share a lot about what I have going on right now and what homemaking looks like for me right now. Um, but it has looked very different for me over the years. I have been a working mom, a full-time, with a full-time job, with a part-time job. I've worked from home. I've had Justin work out of town and be gone all week and only home on the weekends. I've done that while having children and having a full-time job. Justin and I, um, our relationship, we've definitely had ups and downs. How I have taken on my role as a wife and a mother and a homemaker has looked different over the years as far as how well I've done it. Uh, I have times where I, I have times where I feel like I've done it well and times where I didn't. I've been through down down a lot of different paths and you know, Justin and I got married when we were very young. I graduated high school and we were married less than a month later. So we've been through a lot together. And I know that there are things that I haven't gone through that other people have, but I'm feeling led share specific stories about what this has looked like for me over the years. How I came out of times where I wasn't doing a very good job while maintaining, setting and maintaining boundaries, um, but becoming a little more vulnerable in what I share with you about how it's looked like for me over the years, what it's looked like for me over the years. And not, I don't wanna share those things to be like, look, I do know what that's like. Or, yeah, I have been there. That's not my intentions at all. But instead, I want to encourage people, encourage women, encourage homemakers, wherever you're at, whatever it's looking like for you right now. We're not all going to walk the same paths. God doesn't have the same thing in store for all of us. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly what you should be doing, especially when it comes to a career but I will always encourage you to seek out what God has for you. And I will always um, try to encourage you to live biblically um, and not focus on what you want for yourself. Because that's where I got caught up over the years was doing what I thought was best or what I thought my life was supposed to look like. Saying things like, there's no way I could be a say There's no way we could do it financially. There's no way I could uh, have the patience to homeschool my children. Or, you know, saying all of these things, but not really giving it to God. Because he provided a way when I did. He has made homeschooling something absolutely beautiful for us. I just had to set aside what I thought and how I felt at the time, um, realizing that God, he doesn't, he doesn't live by these earthly standards that I'm you know, setting and trying to hold myself to, uh, nothing holds him back and he can do whatever he wants, uh, and will do what it takes to take care of us when we're obedient, but it took it took learning that, and I want to share more about that with you. And I, I have over the years looked at it as all these all these separate stories, I guess, all these separate times in my life where I was a full time working mom, where I was a part time working mom, where Justin worked out of town, where I was a stay at home mom, where I was a work from home mom. And as I thought about it and prayed about it lately, you know, trying to decide exactly what God was wanting me to share. As I thought about it, I started to realize, and I guess my eyes were open to, the fact that it's one book that God is the author of. 
And it may have all these different chapters, but it's a beautiful progression of my maturity as a wife, as a mother, maturity in my relationship with God. And when I saw it that way, it was a beautiful thing. And I originally thought, well, maybe I sit down and I do one video and I just share about how, what homemaking has looked like for me over the years. What I've learned and what that maturity has looked like. Um, did just a story time talking about all of these things. But there's no way I could fit that into one like 15 minute video or whatever. And it deserves more than that because, again, I want to connect with people even if your story doesn't look exactly like what mine looks like right now. Um, we're all, we can, we've all been in different places. We've all gone through different things, but we also can all relate to each other in certain ways. And I want to be able to to tell my story in a way that you know, again, not me saying, yes, I do know, yes, I have been there, but instead meeting you where you're at and encouraging or encouraging you wherever you're at. We're gonna get back to that in just a second. I've got my sweet potatoes all cut up and in my crock pot. Let me go ahead and put the other things in here that I need and tell you what that is. We'll get them stirred around. I've got three fourths cup of brown sugar a quarter cup of maple syrup. I have a tablespoon. It, it called for a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice, but I have about half pumpkin pie spice and half cinnamon. You could do just cinnamon or whatever you like. And then I didn't bring the salt in here. Let me grab the salt. I'm going to do about like a teaspoon or so of salt. I'm going to stir that all up. Here, do you want to see? Don't fall over. Did it call for any water or anything in with this? I might have to go back and look again. I don't think it did. I think it said to just cook them like this on, y'all, I'll put it on the screen. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I think it was on high for four hours and to put the marshmallows on for like the last 30, 45 minutes. Smells good. So I think what I'm gonna do is once a week maybe, I haven't ironed out all the details yet, but I think once a week I will do a video that will, I don't know if it'll be like a sit down story time, thinking more, just put the camera up, show what I'm doing throughout the day and then talk to you in the video, like do a voiceover. So let you just watch what I'm doing and do a voiceover telling you about different seasons of my life, different experiences and what I learned through them, how I have matured in Christ over the years and in my role as a wife, as a mother, as a homemaker. And again, try to meet you wherever you're at and encourage you wherever you're at. And maybe we'll do one of those a week just, you know, just we're going to figure it out together. And maybe it'll be some where it's a sit-down video and some where it's not. But I've just really felt like this is something that I needed to do. And I hope we're all able to benefit from it. Because I do really enjoy getting to hear about your life experiences when people will when you all feel comfortable to leave comments and tell me about different things you've gone through and what God's brought you through and 
how you've made it out of certain situations, things you've learned through certain life experiences, when you feel comfortable sharing those things with me, um, I'm always blessed by it. And so I want to be a little vulnerable, again, setting and maintaining boundaries and what I share, but uh, making myself a little bit vulnerable. And, you know, when I started my channel three years ago, that's something I probably would not have talked about. Um, and as my channel has grown, you would think the more people watching, the less I would want to talk about those things. And I'm still just, you know, teeny tiny in the grand scheme and of I things. And I put that in the crock pot so that it could be going. Got it on high. I did look. And it's four hours on high. I don't put anything in there. No water, anything. Just what I showed you. Four hours on high in the last 30 minutes. I'm going to sprinkle some marshmallows over the top. I already know <laughs> that it's going to be so good. And I'm looking forward to it. I open the refrigerator and saw this butter sitting there. So I'm interrupting to tell you, I knew there was something missing and it's half a cup of butter. So it's, this is one stick of butter that I cut up into little pads and I'm dropping that in. I knew there was something else. It's half a cup of butter. Uh, but what I was saying is you would think I would not want to share as much. So I'd be more protective and not as open, but I think it's maturity and maturity in being here on social media and seeking what God has for me to share so that I can shine a light for Jesus. But I actually feel more comfortable talking to you now than I did three years ago when I started this. And this is where I'm this is where I'm feeling that we should go. This is what I'm I'm feeling like we should sit down and talk about. Again, still ironing out details of what exactly it'll look like, but I wanted to share that with you and let you know that that's what you can expect here in the very near future is hearing more about I guess my background and what life has looked like for me over the years, what homemaking has looked like for me over the years. Um yeah, I feel like I feel like it's a story to tell and I'm excited to share it with you. Thank you for being in my kitchen today and for sitting here and hanging out with me doing a kitchen chat and being a part of our YouTube family. I don't know if I'll be able to get the um, video edited and uploaded when I want it to if I wait to show you this meal at the end of the video. We'll see. Maybe it'll be there. Maybe there'll be a clip of it. If not, I will be sure to let you know what we think about it in the next video and also over on Instagram. So make sure you follow us over there. I know it's going to be delicious, y'all. It smells so good. I'm excited to have it with our dinner tonight. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.